Samsung has relied on its in-house Exynos chips for its mid-range smartphones like the Galaxy F50, Galaxy F53, and the Galaxy F54 for quite some time. Despite the criticisms surrounding Exynos chips, it doesn't seem likely that Samsung will switch back to using Qualcomm chips for its upcoming mid-range phones, including the Galaxy F55. Anticipated for an early release next year, the Galaxy F55 is poised to showcase the Exynos 1480 processor. Notably, Galaxy Club has uncovered evidence pointing to Samsung's testing of the Galaxy F55 equipped with a processor bearing the codename S5E8845. To provide some context, the Exynos 1280 was identified by the codename S5E8825, while the Exynos 1380 was designated as the S5E8835. Hence, it appears reasonable to deduce that Samsung will officially name the S5E8845 as the Exynos 1480. Furthermore, the report reveals that internally, the Exynos 1480 is referred to as ROSE. Additional reports indicate that the Galaxy F55 is expected to retain a 50-megapixel primary rear camera, which is in line with the specifications of the Galaxy F54. However, specific information regarding the secondary rear camera and the front-facing camera remains unavailable at this time. It would indeed be a welcome improvement if Samsung were to enhance the front-facing camera to a 10-megapixel resolution, similar to what is offered in the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Based on Samsung's recent product trends, it is reasonable to anticipate that the Galaxy F55 will come equipped with a 120Hz Super AMOLED display, stereo speakers for enhanced audio, an IP67 rating to ensure dust and water resistance, as well as Gorilla Glass protection for both the front and rear of the device. Additionally, it is hoped that Samsung will retain the microSD card slot in the Galaxy F55, providing users with expandable storage options. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.